Hello there. I'm truly humbled to welcome you as head teachers to this remarkable institution. This is my 14th year at Greycourt School and it gives me immense pride to present to you a school full of happy children, a school full of confidence, of character, of conviction and above all of care. Our vision has not changed. It's dependent upon the shared values that form our ethos. Mutual respect, tolerance, humour and commitment that allow those high quality relationships to occur between all stakeholders, between parents and students, but most importantly, between the students themselves. While relationships are key for a harmoniously running school, we have very high expectations of our young people. Attendance, punctuality, engagement and adherence to uniform attract rigorously. Our restorative approach to behaviour allows students to take responsibility for their actions and the impact that their conduct has upon others. By taking responsibility and reflecting upon their actions, students are far less likely to repeat such incidents again. At Greycourt, we encourage teachers to be passionate about their subject, to innovate and to take risks as they try new ways to engage and stimulate our students. There is no set lesson plan or PowerPoint. As an outstanding and a nationally accredited teaching school, we can directly recruit the best and the brightest into the profession. In testing times for staff recruitment, we are fully staffed with specialists and we do not have gaps that require filling through supply agencies. Our curriculum is broad and balanced, aspirational and inspirational, designed to meet the needs of all students irrespective of their starting points. At Greycourt, students have the choice of four modern languages at Key Stage 3. Specialist teaching in physics, chemistry and biology from year 10. An option process that allows learners to select four subjects from a choice of 21 GCSEs or BTECs. We have a three-year Key Stage 3 curriculum, meaning that all students continue to be taught in languages, music, art, drama, humanities, technology, computing and PE until at least the end of year nine. We have not gone down to a four and a half day week, nor have we removed choices from our options. The curriculum is at the centre of the Grey Core experience. Finding the right subject, the enrichment opportunity, the club or the activity that can unlock a child's potential is at the heart of what we do. That said, we are not perfect. And sometimes the mainstream diet of teaching and learning is not quite sufficient for our students to make the progress that we expect of them. In these cases, we have a proven track record of accelerating progress through effective intervention strategies such as boosters, key subject mentoring, and a tailored timetable during the public exam sessions. So in terms of our academic performance, we are, and I want you to take from this, that we are far more than an exam factory, and that the whole Greycourt experience matters so much, and pastoral care and student well-being is perhaps at the forefront of everything. But we make no apologies for the fact that we are a very, very academically successful school. So last year, more than 83% of our students ended with five or more good pass grades. 90% of our students in year 11 got a GCSE of a four and above in English and 83% in maths. But perhaps the most striking statistic is that 40% of all grades that were taken by our students were at the top grades of seven, eight, and nine. 
and that's the same as the old style A or A stars. 21 students out of a cohort of 203 obtained nine or more eight or nine grades at GCSE. In terms of our A levels, we were comfortably the leading school that was non-selective in the boroughs of Richmond and Kingston. 36% of all grades were A's or A stars and 20 students got all A, A star grades. 71% of all grades were A star to B. Being an inclusive school, we decided a few years ago that we needed to reach further to expand our horizons in terms of the offer that we had. So we implemented a series of seven BTEC qualifications, all high level and all carrying UCAS points, the equivalent to A level. This is the first year that our BTEC results came home. 63% of all grades at Distinction and Distinction Star, meaning that our young people not only accessed Russell Group Universities with these qualifications, but also entered high-level apprenticeships and made the right step for them in terms of their educational journey. But school is so much more. We have an unparalleled offer of wider curricular opportunities, from Budapest to Banff, Box Hill to Bardenechia, Barcelona to Beijing, there's a trip or an activity to suit everybody. And those are places that we've either visited or will be visiting within the 12-month cycle. For six days a year, our students take part in a series of trips and enrichment activities that supplement the quality first teaching that they receive in the classroom. This expands their horizons and allows them to gain that cultural capital that will prove invaluable on their journey to adulthood. We are justifiably proud of the wide and varied sports provision that we have here. Our sport is both inclusive, with a thriving and well-established house system that you see around you, but competitively, Greycourt has already defeated St Paul's, King's College Wimbledon, Herodian, St, Cath St Catharines and Kingston Grammar at either rugby, football or netball. And that's been over the last three weeks. <laughs> now, I think that's enough from me for now. I'd like to introduce some of our New Year 7s to so let you know a bit more about how they found the transi transition from primary to secondary. And this will be followed by an address from our senior prefects. So, do you want to come up first? Now, I have to remember to do the microphone. Okay, you go there. Okay, what's your name? Mia. And where do you live, Mia? Ham. And Mia, what primary school did you go to? Montpelier Primary School. And before you made the transition from the primary school to the secondary school, was there anything that you were worried about? Um, getting lost. <laughs> and did we do anything to help you? Yes. At the beginning of the year, there was um, a treasure hunt. Um, and we were the only year in school, so it allowed us enough time to find all of the classrooms and everything. And have you ever got lost? A few times. <laughs> <laughs> Once I got lost and I circled the building three times before finding my lesson. Did anybody come to your aid? There was a really nice sixth former who had a free period, so... She took me to my class and the teacher was really nice and understanding. Very good. Thanks very much, Mia. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Isaiah. Uh, and where do you live, Isaiah? Ham. And what primary school did you go to? The Russell School. And like I asked Mia, what were you a bit apprehensive about when you made the transition from primary to secondary? Um, getting too much homework. <laughs> and how have we helped? <laughs> how, have we, how have we enabled you to manage your homework? By giving us time to complete it and a planner. And you write your homework in your planner? Yeah. And if you can't understand what you've written in your planner, is there any way, way you can check it? Yeah, I can check it on Google Classroom. And if your parents were in some way suspicious, <laughs> is there anything that they could 
Is there any way in which they could check what homework you'd been set? They can check it on the Sims app. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's your name? Rosa. And where do you live, Rosa? Kingston. And what primary school did you go to? Meadlands Primary School. And what were you worried about when you came to Greycourt? Making friends. Okay. And um, how did we as a school help you in that regard? Before we even started school on our transition day, we had the whole day where we um, met our form. And then on the first two days of school, we were in our form again, we did team building activities, so now I know everybody in my form. And have you made friends? Yes. <laughs> uh, good evening everyone, um, I'm Gabriel, I'm in year 13 and uh, I'm head boy at Greycourt School. Uh, for A-level I take French, Maths and History and I hope to do French and History next year at University. Um, so I began at Greycourt uh, as a Year 7 six years ago in September 2013. I couldn't stand here and tell you exactly how I felt on my very first day. Uh, while I'm sure there were nerves and questions inside my head, uh, I think as an 11 year old uh, I took each day simply as it came. And I was much more worried about what pieces of homework I had to do that night than uh, reflecting on my very first day. Now, wherever I, I see this as a, a testament to Greycourt's ability to welcome and integrate each apprehensive or overconfident or excited student seamlessly. They never un unnecessarily stress the transition from primary to secondary school and... Um, and it's, it's only now that I can truly appreciate them for this. What I can remember about that summer is a, is a definite sense of excitement and hope surrounding that year. The, the school had just been rated outstanding, as I'm sure so would have told you. That the athletic squad had recently drawn first with Orleans Park at Barra Sports for the first time in countless years, which I can assure you is a prolific rivalry to this day. And, and Maggie Bailey had been bold in initiating genuine change and building a thriving school. Next year's cohort, however, will uh, experience a changed grey core, one even more certain of where it's going and what it stands for. Uh, the school's been rated outstanding consecutively now. Uh, the athletic side have dominated bar sports for years. Uh, and Mr Rhodes, uh, a head teacher just as bold and certainly more bald than Miss Bailey, <laughs> He's taken charge of a school he works so tirelessly to innovate. As a year seven, I was anxious to pick the right school. Uh, it's a big decision, and it was one that took a fair amount of thought. The question of grammar schools and independent schools was, was for a while an option for me. Um, I, I suppose what brought me to Greycourt were, were an array of factors. There's this in, increasingly brilliant sporting department its ability to provide for the achievement of academic potential for all its students, and its endless willingness to do more for us. One of my most poignant memories of the school doing more for us came in year 11 as I neared my GCSEs. Uh, the science department had been in contact with King's School Wimbledon, and, um, and they'd been organizing uh, additional chemistry classes for, for kids who wanted to improve. But, but for whatever reason, this, this particular evening, the minibus supposed to bring us to King's College wasn't available. Now, instead of calling the class off and sending us all home, uh, the school managed to find a teacher who, in their free time, off work, took us on a bus to Kingston, and then on a train to Norberton, and then on another bus before walking with us to King's and making sure we got there and, uh, and were all registered correctly. All this was to give us that one lesson, maybe that one piece of information that just might make the difference to our mark or our grade or our future. The teacher that day actually um, happened to be Mr. Rhodes. <laughs> so when I... 
So when I heard he was taking over as um, head teacher, I was glad someone with real heart and genuine care for the school was taking charge. And uh, I trust that he, along with all of the Greycott staff, will continue to be driven by the same care and passion that brought me here all those years ago. Thank you very much. Honourable parents and beautiful students, my name is Diana Paul and it is a pleasure to welcome you to Great Coast School as head girl. I'm an international student, in case you were asking uh, where my accent is from. Um, I was born in Romania, uh, I lived in Ireland for one year and then I moved here to England. From an academic point of view, the Great Coast School approach respects and supports us for personalised learning based on our natural talents. As an individual case, my interest to become involved in the diplomatic world encouraged me to choose to study politics, economics, French and history, which are taught at a high academic level. From the moment I arrived in Grey Core School, I felt accepted and welcomed by the students and our teachers. And this can be proved from my results in AS exams when I obtained A's in every subject. I'm also really proud of the fact that after only one year in this school, I was voted by my peers into the position of head girl which I think highlights that Grey Court is a very nurturing environment and values cultural diversity and international openness. Apart from the academic work, our school encourages us to participate in many extracurricular activities to promote the interpersonal relationships between the students who are in different years. One of my favourite memories of last year was a multicultural festival, which we especially organised to educate and entertain the Year 7s. Our sixth form students presented the culture of a country through clothing, gastronomy and traditions. And we encouraged the young ones to buy the food stuff and take part in the games we had prepared for them. Um, I was part of the Colombian store and we actually put a lot of effort into cooking uh, leche de arroz, which is rice pudding in English and patacones, but you know, kids are kids and they, they love sweets. So when we ran out of um, our um, Colombian uh, lollipops, we, we lost all our customers. Um, but I particularly enjoy watching the year 7 students engaging with the Vietnamese store where they had to play a game called Pin the Beard on Ho Chi Minh, which was like the British game Pin the Tail on the Donkey, which is not as politically correct. Um, later in the year, we also worked with the year 7s on an enterprise day. This time we had to come up with ideas uh, for games that year 7 students would like to take part in. To raise funds for the school, the 6 one students are helping to build in Tanzania. Unfortunately, this year, uh, last year, unlike many others, um, so many Year 7 students uh, beat our head of sixth form at table tennis uh, that he uh, had to borrow money from me to pay them back. Um, finally, on a personal level, I have enjoyed volunteering to help the Year 7 with um, their homework, reading and during lessons. Now, what I'm trying to point here is that your children are being taken care of in this school from the very beginning and they are integrated into the wonderful Grey Core School community, held by the teachers and the staff, surrounded by their classmates and future friends, and under the guidance of our good-humoured head teacher, Mr. Rhodes, um, every child, every day, is given the opportunity to fulfil their potential. Whilst I realised that making the transition to a new school can be challenging, for example, I found it impossible to negotiate the London bus system in order to get to school here every day in my first week, not to mention that I got lost twice, so Mia, you're not the only one. Um, I'm convinced that every generation which will begin year seven will benefit from an excellent education, academic and non-academic, and will become part of the Great Coast School family. Thank you very much. Our commitment um, to personal development and welfare is unwavering. Tutors provide daily guidance and reassurance to the incoming Year 7s. And the student support officers, who are a highly skilled team of non-teaching professionals, deal with all matters of, such as student health, safety, behaviour and well-being. They work really closely with you, the parents, the teachers, and any multi-agency uh, teams involved. I'd like, I'd like to really thank you for coming tonight. 
Um, please do go, go and look at other schools. The more informed you can be about your choices, the better it will be about making the right choice for your school. Um, the deadline for applications is the 31st of October. In terms of admissions, uh, first places will go to students with uh, educational healthcare plans, uh, then children looked after or adopted can care, then those children who have a sibling within the school, and then finally uh, remaining places will be decided uh, based upon uh, proximity to the school, so distance. We know that this is an outstanding school, and we're not perfect, but we are never complacent. Our job is to maintain the excellent standard of education whilst always looking to improve. I have a selfish reason as to why I'm so passionate to look at our journey beyond outstanding. As a parent and a member of the local community, I want my girls to go to Greycourt and to have some of those experiences that I've watched firsthand enrich the lives of our young people. Hopefully, Lots of the starry-eyed young people in front of me will also be part of that incredible journey. Thank you very, very much.